Hey there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland and today I am here to make another quick and easy card from my 100 quick and easy card series and this will be card number 40 Who done thunk it? Anyway, so I am going to make a card using the the sentiment from Christmas Scotty and the snowflake stamp. I am going to use the punch that goes with this bundle and punch me out a wee Scotty dog. I've got a Bammy Blue card base. I've brought in a bit of black uh, and a piece of white for stamping on. And I have cut myself a tag from this amazing set, Celebrations Tag Dies. I've just opened them today and I had cut that to have a look at it and immediately I thought, oh, I can do a card for that, even though it's a tag. And I've got that. Cut. So we've got two tags that we can cut and I've lost this one already. Here's it gone. Oh my word. Here it is. So this is the die I used to make, to cut this. So it's like, it's kind of like a little card because it's double. So you can decorate the outside, stick it on to your gift or whatever, and then you can write on the inside if you want to. I'm going to use that on my card. There's this one as well which I think you, this is the one that a lot of people have been using to do a wee shaker tag and it's got lots of shapes with it sort of like you could cut that holes out and get sort of faux snow you've got this beautiful double stitched circle and double stitched rectangle and then a, shape, a sort of banner shape for sentiments then you've got candles, mittens because the stamp set that goes with this has got mittens it's got balloons so you can cut out the balloon. It's got hearts and then it's got extra hearts to go with it. An amazing wee snowflake die, which I will be using. There will be more cards coming using this lot. But I had cut that wee tag and thought, oh, immediately I sort of thought, you know what? Quick and easy card. I need to get one filmed, so we'll play later. There'll be lots coming soon. I'm thinking the mittens will be great for sort of winter type cards. So I'll pop that to the side because I've already die cut that. I've got my card base, I've got some memento black, I've got bammy blue. I've got this pretty blue and bammy blue ribbon but I've also got this one so I don't know which one will get used because there's black and white. I brought out my map dots. They might get used so let's just, this is for stamping on, so let's stamp and possibly, I'm thinking actually it might just, do you know what, where is the stamp set, where's my doggy stamp set gone, here it is right beside me, I'm actually just thinking that this stamp here it's kind of like a tartan rug and I think I might just stamp that on with the bammy blue onto the tag that wasn't in my head until right now but i still think this will be a fairly quick and easy card but if it isn't it will just not be in the series and it will go it will still go to youtube right i have going to hold that down with my finger and just stamp it once and leave it at that just to bring the bammy blue in to the tag don't know why I've got my glue rubber here then I'm going to stamp the sentiment in this corner with my memento that's that and then we're going to have a background of snowflakes.
just stamping twice with each time and that gives you some the lighter ones fade to the background so it does look much like a blizzard I'm just going to leave it like that because this is going to cover a good bit of it anyway so what I just do is one more up here and then down there it's faint but just takes the start right off around there so that's that bit I'm going to close my that and then I'm going to punch out I do have one punched out already but I think it's good to just let you see so what you do if you've not used our punches before is you hold it upside down you pop your card in until it's where you want it and squeeze and look a dog comes flying out Well, if you're new, if you've not watched before, or you've not quite worked out what's going on before, all the products I use are Stampin' Up, and I'm a demonstrator with Stampin' Up. And if you want to buy anything that you see me use, just let's face it, who doesn't need a punch for a Scotty dog? Um, you can buy them on my online shop at jazzodazzle.stampinup.net this glue doesn't want to work doesn't want to talk to me today Let's see if this one will if not I've got a brand new one in the wings which I'm gonna to have to use these are all needing um, a wee a wee poke right there we go. I'm just going to glue this onto the black. I do love black and blue together. I just, as you know, I like all blues anyway. Anything that's got blue in it makes me happy. Right. So. Oh, that moved a little bit. Right, and then we'll just pop this on the front. So really a few bits to this card but it's not complicated and once you've cut your bits and pieces I like the bigger border just lets that balmy blue shine out right and oh and I've had not a rowley recently but someone's been telling me Barb has been saying hinted to me that really I ought to be stamping on my envelopes too. So let's just give this one a wee quick what one will we do? Hey. A wee dog shall we? This could go wrong because the envelope. Oh no. Yeah, well, because she's just got ink on the envelope. Very good. Okay, there you go. So we oh, I've not got a wee block candy here we have. See I was keep making it quick and easy and then I start complicating it. I've still got to do something on for the inside as well. Anyway, this wee this looks like a wee it gives it a collar and a wee bow. There we go, that will do fine. Just 
Christmas. I think what, what am I going to stamp? That's the envelope and because she's got black ink there she'll have to do more dogs or get a new envelope. So which way is that dog facing that way? So I need this one. They face the other way. I don't half like make my life complicated, eh? But the problem is, I'm trying to fix one and I'll end up getting more ink on me. And it will all go wrong. You know it will. Just going to pop this one just on the edge there. And then... All a bit crazy. But again, you know, stamping is relaxation and it's about having a bit of fun. That's all right. We'll just leave it at that before it... Well, the person is going to know that this card is about dogs. Right. I've lost an I've lost my oh it's right in front of me again. So Merry Christmas. May your days be furry and bright. We pun. A wee doggy pun. Gee, I'm making this quick and easy card a long complicated affair now. I'm not going to stamp anything else on because I'm going to end up making a mess and make this be a long and complicated card instead of a quick and easy. But there's nothing complicated about this. It's just a bit of stamp. Oh, whoops, a bit too much glue there. Let's spread it out. To be honest, the card's fine like that. But of course we're going to add a little more a la nice landscape card I just want to make sure just always do make sure that the bread the bread the glue spread out <laughs> right and then just the wee tag is going on with the wee doggy like that just just for something different now I am thinking that I've got enough of this black ribbon this is my last bit of it and I think I can tie a little just a wee knot around give doggy a wee Turn that off. Yeah, I still think we're quick and easy. Because if we didn't talk so much. Right, and then where did the rest of that go? I think we could just manage. So what do we want? Just cut that about there and we'll still have a little bit left. I'm just going to fold that in half. Thread it through. And then just slip it through on itself. What do you think of the Bammy blue with black and white? It's quite a cool colour scheme, isn't it? You have to agree with me. There's no option. And then we'll just give him a wee black eye. The 
just take one of the smallest ones and pop a wee eye about there. Right, and then just stick them together and away we go. Now I'm just going to glue that onto the tag. Ordinarily I might have used dimensionals, but I think I might want to put this one in the post, so I'm just not going to make it too. Right, so doggy, you're going about there. How cute is that? I don't know if that's in the right place though. I think his eyes a bit maybe about there, that's better. I've no idea but it just do you know go with what looks right. What pleases your eye? Pardon the pun. I don't think I'll bother trimming them, they're fine. And then you've got options so you could write a secret wee message in there or you can write in there and there you have a quick and easy even though I've blethered so this might be one of the cards that will be done at my Christmas craft or noon which is the 20th of November if you happen to live in the Falkirk area or central Scotland and would like to come and join us get in touch with me 20th of November I will give you the details of that. So three hours of crafting and get your Christmas crafting with music and some cake and just get into a wee bit of a Christmas mood and get ahead. So there we have an envelope and a card. I want top marks for this barb. <laughs> Thank you everyone for supporting me. And that is, let me see, Oh yeah, 17 minutes and a pile of blether and that is a quick and easy card. So yeah, thank you for following this series. Please subscribe, please press the bell icon if you want to get notified when I'm coming again. And yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with another quick and easy card. So thank you so much. Bye bye.